Hey guys, my name's Glenn, one of the directors of The Smoking Q, American Style Low and Slow Barbecue. Coles under here. Yeah, so for the burgers, um, we want to try and create quite a high heat. Um, we want to get our smash plate as hot as we possibly can. Um, the patties, when we put them on, we need extreme heat to be able to pull the juices and the flavours out of the rub, um, help to caramelise the patty, uh, which creates that sensational taste that's in a traditional smash burger. <laughs> With my wood supply today, we're running beech. Sets a really nice flavour to the meat. Um, adds a good um, char uh, good ash base um, to be able to maintain the fire and run a clean fire. But then what we'll also do is, depending on the cook of what we're doing, if we're doing some venison, we might add some cherry. If we're doing some pork, we'll add some um, apple um, um, branches and trunks from apple trees. So uh, we try to get quite friendly with the orchardists around the place and. Uh, grab all their trees when, when they're finished with them. So we've got a bit of um, coals here that are unburnt. We're about to add our chimney. Um, it's just about ready to go. So I'll sprinkle those over the top. Uh, we've obviously got a chimney full of really hot coals. Give it another 20, 25 minutes and um, these hot coals will start to burn the other coals, um, pre-warm the barbecue and in about 45 minutes from now we'll have a glowing hot barbecue, which is exactly what we need. Um, real simple beef patty, so what we do is we'll use our brisket trim, um, so that's a little bit of meat and fat, uh, we'll add some pork fat to it to get that fattiness coming through, which is essential for the smashing of the burger. Um, no binders, it's purely rub. Um, we, with the Smoking Q, have a retail shop. Uh, one of the products that we stock is Elk Creek. It's out of an Australian uh, competition team. Uh, really, really nice flavours that come in through this. I've used this one today. Um, it's a honey chipotle flavour. Um, a lot of these commercial rubs from Australia and America have monosodium glutamate MSG, Uncle Roger's favourite, um, and uh, nitrates and other bits and pieces that work really, really well to maximise the punch of flavours. So just grab three nice spots on there, really, really hot barbecue, as uh, hot as you can get it is key for the smash burgers. And we'll just sprinkle a little bit of extra, extra rub over the top. And what that'll do is as it's cooking it'll caramelise. Unfortunately we don't have smell of vision but the smells coming off of this at the moment um, lead us into some really really good flavour. So we left it for about 30 seconds and now we'll just give it a really good smash down. So we want to press that down quite firmly, get it flat as we can. So we're only making one burger, but we're going to use three patties on there. And what makes the smash burger so delicious? That makes the smash burger so delicious, so a little bit of char going on, it's all flavour, it's sugar, it's not burnt. It's that caramelisation of all these flavours coming through. The other thing that adds to really good smash burgers is healthy eating. <laughs> Lots of butter. Um, brioche is a love-hate relationship. It's a bit like coriander and Indian food. Some people love it, some people hate it. Um, for me, I, I, I look at the flavours of what we're adding. I've got sweet in the, in the rub. Um, I've got sour in my pickles. I've got nice creamy mayo. And the brioche just, for me personally, balances it out. So I just put a lid over the top now, just for a couple of seconds, just to let that that cheese melt down. Cardinal Sins of burger making, I think, especially if you're working with smash burgers, is adding binders, things like eggs, um, breadcrumbs. You know, we're all about the meat. Um, we're not a 
a vegetarian option. We're all about the meat. We're trying to really work with that meat to get the maximised flavours out of it. You start adding binders, um, the egg, breadcrumbs, you're taking away from that flavour. You're creating a stodgy patty. It doesn't need it. Let the meat speak for itself. So beautiful colour coming through on the buns. We'll just give the tops just a little bit of a warm through. And now we'll stack up our patties. So we've got our triple cheese burger. Layers of cheese, layers of meat on our buttered bun. Now we're just adding some pickles. So this is a homemade uh, pickle that we use in the smoking queue. Um, we've got red capskin, red onion, pickles, uh, enhanced with some other spices and bits and pieces and they just marinate away and give a really yummy flavour. So I'm just going to add some of our smoky bacon that we use on our brunch option as well. And a little bit of mayonnaise. Nice creamy mayonnaise. Um, Duke's mayonnaise is actually out of America. Um, it's one that a lot of recipes feature. For me, I just um, I found it on the shelf one day, thought I'd give it a go. Absolutely love it. Then just to top it all off, that is a smash burger. Okay, so there we have it guys, um, one smash burger. Now the terrible part, see what it's like. Oh. So juicy and creamy. So guys, if you like that, um, don't forget to get on YouTube, give us a follow on Story Bites. If you have any questions that relate to low and slow barbecue, feel free to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram, ask any questions. Otherwise, don't be afraid, get amongst it, get into it. <laughs>